simple way to study the behavior of a material is to prepare experiment based on uh, preparation and observation. We prepare a material starting from given ingredients, so for instance the milk, the milk, the chocolate, the eggs. We mix them following the recipe and then we observe what the properties of the results uh, are. Such an approach uh, is not adequate to study actinide materials because uh, will not uh, bring us uh, to the level of knowledge that we need uh, to predict their behavior at very long time scale. Actinides are radioactive elements with unusual physical behavior. In JRC ITU, Roberto Cachufo and his team investigate actinides produced in nuclear reactors. Plutonium, for instance, is a very fascinating element. It may be the most fascinating element of the periodic table, despite its very bad reputation for being so extremely radiotoxic. And in particular, the so-called delta phase, which is the phase more ductile of this element, shows a behavior that goes beyond the current understanding of condenser matter physics. Understanding the behavior of this material from a theoretical point of view is key for developing science-based safety assessment of any nuclear material cycle. The nuclear fuel cycle is the process of preparing uranium for fuel use in nuclear power reactors. Spent fuel is then reprocessed to separate the reusable actinides, such as plutonium, from the nuclear waste. To develop nuclear fuels and treat leftover waste, ITU's basic scientists work to model actinides' properties. A good theoretical model should be able to predict the behaviour of a material and also to predict how the material behaviour will change when an external parameter is modified. For instance, should be able to predict how the system evolves with time. To achieve this goal, ITU investigates actinides' structural, magnetic and surface properties. The surface is a contact between the solid, for instance a nuclear fuel, a spent nuclear fuel, a waste, and the environment. And all reactions between the fuel and the environment take place specifically at the surface. So what we are doing here, we look at the properties of the surfaces. What properties, a composition, oxidation state, and we have reaction chambers where we expose then these surfaces, for instance, to water, to a corrosive environment, just to know what they are doing. In fact, you see here a blue light, which is formed by the uranium and thorium. We let oxygen into it, so this is MOX, a typical fuel type. And the beauty of our approach is that we can tailor specific fuel model types on which we perform our corrosion studies. The beauty of the ITU approach is that it provides other benefits too. A form of nuclear waste, uranium-233, could be an important cancer treatment. This alpha emitter irradiates cells only over a few micrometers of distance, thus leaving healthy tissue unharmed. Targeted alpha immunotherapy means that we use alpha emitters which uh, are connected to antibodies and uh, which target specifically tumor cells to kill these tumor cells. So for our work, we use different types of antibodies or peptides which are specific for tumor cells, for instance, in order to bring the alpha emitter to the tumor cells, we use different complexing agent connected to the antibody or the peptide, which can be simulated like this. So we have different type. These complexing agents are used to connect the different types of alpha emitter to the antibody or to the peptide, which can be simulated by this system that I show you here. We try to demonstrate that our technique is applicable on different kinds of cancer, as you can see here. Breast cancer, ovarian cancer, myeloma, but uh, also prostate cancer. So we think that we have demonstrated that a large variety of cancer types can be treated with this technique. But of course, uh, it needs a consistent number of 
capabilities and capacities in order to demonstrate at a larger scale how efficient this technique is and to apply it at even more uh, patients and uh, at the larger scale in the future. Many actinide materials lie at the brink of instabilities where uh, unexpected uh, quantum states of matter appears. This is where new physics uh, await to be discovered uh, and this is where surprises may occur that uh, in the future could bring to application that we do not yet uh, foresee but uh, that in the future could uh, produce uh, something that uh, could be taxed, as Faraday said to the Chancellor of the Chequier talking uh, about the use uh, of his research on electrical phenomena. Maybe we need some sugar. ITU basic research scientists say let us search the findings will be yours.